Special thanks to Patreon supporter Delta One for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare tutorial. This tutorial here is going to be our first ever tutorial for Age Equipment. Age standing for Aerospace Ground Equipment. Basically what uh, Age Equipment is, is designed to support the aircraft um, in various different uh, roles. There's ones that power supply power to the aircraft, which is what this unit does right here. This is a ground power unit. Um, there are other ones that are used to basically remove and uh, install hydro um so basically just giant pumps and a lot of very other various equipment such as air compressors for using air power tools and so on um there's really a lot of different air aerospace ground equipment uh but the age equipment you see in front of us the power unit is definitely a huge part of that list of age equipment this is basically designed to supply power to the aircraft when the aircraft cannot be turned on or um it's a uh, cannot run some system for some reason some system on its own power uh, this is where this uh, ground cart kind of comes into play um, I don't believe they're used too much nowadays for actually starting aircraft I know that the there that used to be the thing it would supply power and then it would be able to start the aircraft maybe for a more jet type aircraft but at least for uh, the aircraft that I mainly work with the A10s um, the turbofan engines do not require uh, a ground power cart and they can usually be activated um, using its own uh, power source on board the aircraft. So overall pretty interesting little piece of equipment and should be a fun build and hopefully paves the way for some more aerospace equipment that we'll see in the future. Uh, before we go and take a look at the build I want to go and give special thanks to Patreon supporter Delta One for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can put some amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request to your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is really greatly appreciated so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested in that program. With that though, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, ground equipment. So, very straightforward, it's basically a generator on wheels. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. We have uh, the front toe uh, uh, bit here, which will work perfect with some of the tugs that we've done designs on before in the, the uh, past. So, uh, those would be perfect little um, vehicles to use to tow this. Um, though, typically there's like these dedicated trucks that actually do pull them. Um, more like tow tractors, I guess you can say, but you can use tugs as well for attaching this if you want this being towed in, around an airfield. We have uh, just, uh, you know, the various uh, designs of it, um, little tow hooks there, designs all the way around. It's pretty straightforward. On this side here, we do have the, um, basically the controls here. So this would be able to be accessed and uh, basically it's just a glass panel here that shows you the gauges and stuff like that. So you're able to monitor uh, the generator, all that stuff, um, you know, whatever it might need. And then we have doors here that could be pulled open and you can plug your cables in and plug into the aircraft. So it's pretty straightforward. It's really isn't anything too crazy, but should be a fun build just to kind of add as a nice aesthetic piece or maybe create some little dioramas or scenes where this uh, cart's plugged into a uh, aircraft and, you know, getting it ready for launch. So definitely some possibilities with it. But anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning uh, with our... Actually, we're just going to go ahead and not even do layers. So we'll just go ahead and just dive right into it. All right, guys, so go ahead and move it into building this ground aerospace uh, power unit. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a block of coal like this. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with fence gate, a end rod, another fence gate, a end rod, or sorry, my bad, and then a block of coal like so. We then want to take our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, four rows of three. So one, two, three, and four. Slabs going forward, and we're going to go do the same thing here. So dark oak wood fence gate here to the sides, end rod in the center, and then a block of coal to both sides like so. On the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down two dark oak wood top slabs in the center. And then zombie heads come off the sides of the slabs like this to both sides, and dark oak wood signs on the side there of the top slabs. So just like that. After that's all done there, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood top slab here, coming off the end rod here toward the front. And toward the back section here, we're going to go ahead and basically just leave it as is. Now we can go ahead and then take end rods and place down one, two, three end rods going forward and then a zombie head like so on the end here. If you are planning on building the vehicle attached or the trailer here attached to a vehicle, we'll probably just place down our three end rods and try to connect it up to a trailer hitch or something of that sort. Um, but if you do have the pole kind of or the um, front pole here kind of extended, and it kind of stops, uh, we can go ahead and just place down a zombie head there. 
And one quick thing I'm going to change here is I'm actually going to replace these two end rods here with dark oak fence gates. Open up toward the back there. And then dark oak signs on the side here. As this actually would probably be a little bit more accurate uh, for the front here. So again, uh, you can place down the zombie head if you are having the cart just kind of stationary. And sitting somewhere. Or if you do want to have it attached up to a vehicle, we'll just kind of do something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's all we really have there for um, that section there. Now when it comes to the blocks of coal, we can also go ahead and place this green banner design. Which is a green banner with a black border that goes around it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, black border around it and then a black line horizontally through the center. And basically all we're going to do here is just take these banners and place them down on the sides here. Of these blocks of coals. So just like that. All the way around there to go ahead and make the wheels. Once we have that all complete, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three on top of the fence gates here. And end rod. And we're also going to place down a row of three on top of these fence gates here. We're just going to go ahead and then build rows of three with green terracotta to connect our two sides together. On the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab our cobblestone, mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a row of three and then a green stained glass paint on both sides. Same thing over here uh, like this for the back. Now once we get to this point, we're going to then grab ourselves some iron frames. We're going to place some iron frames on these two mossy cobblestone walls. Same thing up here. And we're going to then place down trip bar hooks in the item frames, rotate it so that they're hanging downwards, like so. So just like that. And once we get to this point along the sides, we're going to go ahead and take our green shulker boxes. We're going to place down one, two, one, two, shulker boxes like so. And then taking dark liquid stairs and slabs, we're going to place down a upside down dark liquid stair, come off the sides here of those shulker boxes. And on the sides of the stair here, we're going to place down a dark liquid sign. Same thing over here. And then a dark oak with top sub. Going back, or going from the front here. Have these stairs like that. And then dark oak with side on the sides there of the top slabs. So like so. After that, uh, we then want to go and go to the top up here. We're going to place down a black concrete block on top of this green terracotta block here. And we then want to go and place down a ladder. Come off the side of it. Going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five green terracotta blocks. And we're going to have a ladder on this side as well. To the sides, we're going to go ahead and grab our mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then taking our dark oak trap doors, we want to go ahead and just place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 trap doors. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 trap doors like so. And around these trap doors, we're going to go ahead and take dark oak signs and place them down like so. And just a little note here to place these these um, signs here. I am crouching um, in here to go ahead and make sure that we don't open those trap doors. Instead, when we right click. So all the way around, like so. Then at this point, we're going to place down a narrow block of coal on top of this one. Followed by a ladder, like so. And then a green terracotta block here to both sides. Now over here on the left side, we're just going to go ahead and run a row of 1, 2, 3. Or sorry, the right side of my bed. It's going to be three, four, five green terracotta blocks, so six in total along the side there. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four dark oak trap doors and lay them flat like so. A dark oak wood sign and another dark oak trap door there on the back. After we get to this point here, uh, we're going to grab glass and also a smoker. We're going to go and place down a green terracotta block here on the back, a smoker, and then a glass, glass block coming off the smoker like so. And then a green terracotta block here next to it. And then two green terracotta blocks in this section. And then two right here to fill in the center. After that, we're going to take our choker boxes. We're going to place down two choker boxes there along the sides. We're going to go then place down a dark oakwood trap door on these two green terracotta blocks. And then grabbing dark oakwood buttons, we're going to place down one and two dark oakwood buttons on the side there of those choker boxes like so. With that out of the way, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some daylight detectors and slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dark oak wood slabs. And then around the sides here of the slabs, we're just going to go ahead and place down daylight detectors. Going all the way around, like just like that. And after that's all complete there, that's going to basically wrap up what we have here for this aerospace ground power unit um, tutorial. Uh, with that, that's going to wrap it up and everything. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and put it to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for this being the link from a sign of the build, link to my channel, or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. 
With that though, um, thank you again so much to Patreon supporter Delta1 for making this tutorial possible. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel204, and I'll see you guys next time.